Hello Cancer, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Uh, my name is Diane, for those of you that don't know me, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. And um, we're gonna do a reading for August, but you know, it's timeless. All of my readings are timeless, so whenever you happen to find this is when you were meant to see it. You're very, very welcome here, Cancer. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it very much. And if you feel called to like and subscribe for me at all, I would appreciate that very much as well. Okay, so we're gonna get some of these cards to start the reading. This is the Rebecca Campbell, work your light, something, something. Okay, you have break the chain, ancestral patterns, healing, rewriting the future. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing or you're already on the right path, but maybe you're worrying too much about it or you're overthinking it. What else for cancer? Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. I feel there's something here about, um, like with this breaking the chain, it could very well be about like ancestral patterns, but you could be stuck in something of a loop. Like they might be asking you to kind of take some time off and like have, let yourself have fun and celebrate. Like don't overthink so much. Because this could be about like your earth mission or something like that or the things that you're meant to do while you're here. And they're saying like, don't worry about it so much, you're already doing it, but there is something about breaking like a loop. I don't know if maybe you have a tendency to stay in the house a lot for someone watching. Uh, there's a little message for you here about getting yourself out more, even if it's just to go out for a walk by yourself, you know, or take yourself out for a coffee or something and read a book somewhere just to kind of break the habit. Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic, teacher. Um, I guess this deck is not for men then, huh? <laughs> um, we're just gonna go ahead and call that, um, I don't know. Why does it always have to be a sisterhood or a brotherhood? Can it just be like a one word? Team of the Rose, how about that? Um, beauty and devotion, priestess, priest, mystic, teacher. So this is what you are. You're some kind of high priest, priestess, mystic, teacher. And you have pillar of the light. Your vibration is rising, you are the oracle. Wow, queen of pentacles. So this could be something that you're doing for a living for a lot of you, like you may, you may be a teacher or you may teach a certain topic. Um, you may do something where, you know, you're some kind of spiritual teacher or you're using spiritual gifts or some kind of spiritual knowledge that you have. Uh, you could also be a beautician, do something where you're making the world more beautiful or making people or yourself more beautiful. Um, something like that. I do feel there's some kind of overthinking going on. Okay, that's a lot. You have the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. The Lovers and the Queen of Swords. Okay, so definitely with the Queen of Swords energy here, like this is about you being able to pull information out of the ether and deliver it to people, whether, whether that is in the form of like teaching, 
uh, communication, counselling, making videos, making movies, writing books, teaching a class or teaching, um, you know, teaching students, teaching children. God help you if you're a high school teacher. <laughs> uh, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. There's something that you're doing. Your ships are about to come in. You have the Knight of Swords and the Emperor. Oh, there's a person coming. Okay. So there's an Emperor or an Empress, if you deal with the ladies. Uh, they're coming in pretty fast, this person. And this person has been brought in by Spirit to help you have more fun and to not be so serious because you may have spent like an awful lot of time focusing on your work um, or focusing on this business that you have. So they're actually coming in pretty fast, this person. And they're kind of, they're not gonna be sharp with you, okay? But with the Knight of Swords energy, they're not, they're not gonna take any of your ish. <laughs> you know, they're just gonna be like, uh, no, you're not staying in the house. Like I'm coming to get, I'm coming over to get you and we're going out, you know? Or like they might call you up and be like, hey, did you leave the house today? Like what's up with that? You know what I mean? They might just call you out on your 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 BS. <laughs> um, you have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. So someone here is coming in to ask you out on a date. Whatever this is, is breaking a chain in your life. So this is like a new, I don't know if it's a new person. I would say a new person, but they're different. It's diff they're, they're breaking some kind of pattern that you have always dealt with, with um, like romance or your, even your family, you know, say like the, you know, say you're a woman and you date men, like say, you know, you and all the women in your family just have like a tendency to date losers, right? <laughs> this, is, this person breaks that pattern. They could be an Aries, they could also be a Gemini. Um, very, very stable person, like daddy, mummy kind of energy, like boss energy, usually very well respected, usually very well grounded. They could be a little serious themselves, but uh, the nine of pentacles, uh, sorry, the nine of cups, they're gonna be something of a wish fulfillment for you. Cause I think you've been working too much, Cancer. Um, tell me about this eight of pentacles. Oh, look at that, the Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. So there's something that you're gonna be doing where you're working with people, showing yourself to people, talking to people, helping people, um, and you're very, very good at it. Whatever it is, you're very good at it, and you're already doing it. So you, you know, whatever it is you're doing, you may end up expanding it or changing it slightly in some way, but that's gonna unfold naturally. So there's kind of an energy here of letting yourself take uh, like take some time off work, really, and letting yourself have, have more fun. Tell me about the lovers. The magician. And tell me about the queen of swords. Oh, you get information like channeled straight through you. Mm. Oh, and the King of Wands. So you're meant to be some kind of leader, really, or you're meant to be seen. Like the King of Wands is an energy of someone who, you know, they're up on stage or their voice is being heard, like, you know, through YouTube or through a podcast or they teach a class or they run, like they're the CEO. Um, or they're the one making videos, you know, something like this, like they're in charge. But it's to do with like the information that you're able to pull out of the ether, like out of the Akashic. I'm not sure whether or not you're aware that you're doing that. You know, like say you're someone that makes movies, like the ideas for your movies, you're pulling them down out of the, <clears throat> excuse me, they're, you're pulling them down out of the Akashic. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. 
Okay, so. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Oh, it comes in very fast. The Knight of Swords. Oh, this person comes in like really fast. Like kind of out of nowhere. Because I kind of feel like you, you not even you don't even really see them coming because you're working with the Eight of Pentacles. You just got your head down and you're working, and then all of a sudden this person's like, "Hey, what's up? I want to date." You. And it might even be like a little inconvenient <laughs> at the time. Tell me about this uh, emperor. King of Swords. The Devil. Okay. So whoever this person is, they're kind of closed off or Yeah, they're kind of closed off, like they kind of get in their own way. Um, <clears throat> you know, they're not very good at expressing their emotions. But they come in like really fast, like out of nowhere. Fool, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands, The Wheel of Fortune. Ten of Swords. They are showing up as a soulmate. Okay. Let's find out who this person is. Who is this? Give us, give us some messages from this emperor, this king of swords, the eight of wands. So this is someone that really, really likes talking to you. They're actually one of those people, they might be like really, really smart. Um, I can never remember the word for it, but you know people that get turned on by like smart people and smart conversations? That's this person. Uh, the King of Swords is usually someone like very smart. They might be very analytical. Tell me about this person, this Emperor King of Swords. Give us a message from them. You're going to be hearing from them pretty soon. I think it's an ex. You have the Three of Swords here. I'm sorry for the pain. I hope someday we'll be together again. I think this is someone from your past. But they're showing up as an emperor. So, you know, you have the devil here with the Three of Cups. So this could be someone that Maybe they used to overindulge or something like that when you knew them, like they used to party too much or they liked the old glug glug. Um, they're going to come in and make you an offer. There's something here about breaking the chains though, like you have the Three of Swords here. Break the chain. But they have grown up, like they're coming in as, as an emperor, they want a second chance with you. This is someone who was like very closed off in the past though, I would say, to their detriment, but they see happiness with you. I do think with that Ten of Swords energy, maybe you guys didn't have a great ending with each other, but this person feels like with the tower, this person feels like you guys learned from your destructive past. Like it made you stronger. Okay. 
Okay, um, tell me about this King of Wands. Tell me about this King of Wands. Okay, you also have another soulmate here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign. It could be someone that you work with or someone that sees your work. Two of Cups, like best friend, soulmate energy. Tell me about this King of Wands. There's something about waiting. Oh, this person. I feel like this reading has come through before. <laughs> um, so this person here, this King of Wands, is kind of watching this unfold. So this person here could be like a newer energy but they're like waiting to see what happens with this past person or they're waiting for you to be done with the past person. Tell me about the King of Wands. Yeah, damn, that's very accurate spirit. Wow, look, you have the King of Wands again. Um, the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So this is someone new versus a past person. So I guess you're gonna have to make a choice. Uh, this past person comes in like really, really fast. Out of nowhere, they might kind of take you by surprise. And also with the Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands, they might sort of whisper sweet nothings into your ear and like try and get you into bed or something like that. Just, just throwing it out there. Um, you do have the Five of Wands, so it could be someone that you, like you had a fight with them or you guys didn't see eye to eye, or it's been up in the air with this person. Hmm. Okay, um, is there any advice cards that I can <laughs> pull for you about this? I don't know that there is. Um, Okay, tell me about the lovers. Oh, that's your choice. You're gonna have to make some kind of choice between these two people. Uh, tell me about the magician. Basically, they're saying you're ready, okay? You're ready to make a choice. Maybe it wasn't the right time yet for some reason, like maybe you didn't have all the information that you needed to make this choice, but I feel like now you do. And it's kind of, spirit's like, okay, so which way? Which way are you gonna go? You know, it's interesting that I have all these cards here. I don't usually have these cards, so let's ask. Can we have some advice about this past person? Emotions, look deep within your emotions. Okay, there was some kind of tower that happened with this person that really, I think this past person evokes quite strong emotions within you. You may even have a little bit of repressed emotions about this person, spirit might be wanting you to deal with them. Tell me, what, what advice do you have for cancer about this past person? Okay, it is some kind of spiritual connection that you guys have. What advice do you have for cancer about this past person? Receptive, be ready to receive what fate has planned for you. You know, a lot of this with this past person could be based on like physical attraction. Tell me about what, what advice do you have for cancer about this past person? Not today, not dealing hurt, await a, con sorry, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary, still angry. 
Oh, I think this is someone you blocked. Addiction. So this person could have had an addiction. Codependent, obsession, possession. <laughs> Yay, controlling, has a block, restraint. I think you turned away from this person. Like it could have been a very codependent relationship. There could have been like a little bit of an obsession going on. Like you guys were kind of obsessed with each other in terms of, I don't know, it could have been like very physical. You know what I'm saying? What advice do you have for cancer about this past person? Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting. They're gonna surprise you the way that they talk to you. Like the way, like the message. I think it comes out of nowhere. They might even call you in the middle of the night or something and you're like, what? <laughs> Not enough. Frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, egos, sorry, fear, ego issues, jealousy. Mask. Uh, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, gaslighting. This is someone they're kind of closed off, you know, like they might be very masculine. That could be one of like, if it's a male you're dealing with or, or a masculine energy, like they might be super masculine and they don't like to talk about feelings. <clears throat> so what advice do you have for cancer about this person? Do you have any advice? Heart with a key, but it kind of came out in reverse. What advice do you have for cancer about this person? Karmic relationship. Hmm. Fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Okay, this person wants a new beginning with you, right? But I feel like they had some problems. Um, you know, karmic relationships, often one person has some kind of addiction or both of you have some kind of addiction. Um, so this person was certainly very triggering for you and they certainly taught you a lot of lessons. Tell us about this new person. Oh my God, true love. They just like threw that at me. I actually landed far away. Okay. Uh, I can't get it. Uh, oh my God, okay. So you have true love here. So it kind of looks like this new person is your true love, Cancer. Um. But you might be confused because this past person was like a spiritual connection. Like you might find that this is the person that put you on your spiritual path. Tell me about this new person. You tell us about this new person. Look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. So this is a very deep connection that you have with this new person. Ooh. Anything else about this new person? Bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. So, you know, with this new person, it may also not um, have taken off very quickly because you have the hanged man. So there could have been some kind of delay or there might be some kind of delay with this new person coming in. But that's okay because the bond is going to grow stronger over time. They keep drawing my attention over here to the Ace of Wands, which is like the boner card. So I don't know if there was like a very strong physical connection with the past person, you know? 
Whereas I feel like maybe with this new person, it would be a, a deeper bond. You're being tested, basically. This is the last card I'm gonna pull and then I'm gonna go into the extended because I feel like this is gonna get too, too long. Um, so at the moment, your strengths and weaknesses are being tested. I don't know why they do this. The best way to think of it is like a computer game. That's how I think of it. You know, like, it, I don't know if you're into computer games. I don't know if you're a nerd <laughs> like me, but, um, although I kind of stopped playing computer games because uh, someone convinced me that maybe they're not so good for you. So whatever, dude, thanks for sucking the fun out of that. Um, I'm only kidding, uh, kind of. <laughs> Yeah, think of it like a, te a sort of some kind of test before you level up or it's like you have to, you know, def defeat the end of level quest before you can get to the next level. There's something here about this past person coming back in to sort of poke you and test your weaknesses. Like, because I again, I keep feeling like maybe you're very physically attracted to this person or they're very charming or something. Because there's something about not, like it's just, it's not enough. And there's been a lot of frustrations in the relationship or there's been like a lot of self-sabotage or this person has an ego or you have, you both have egos getting in the way or there's jealousy or something. So it feels like you're being tested because you're going to the next level basically. Um, so with the lovers, this, this talks about a choice. So it's like, are you gonna take the past person? Which, look how complicated that is. Look how many cards there are there. It just screams complication to me. And then you have the new person that's all nice and simple. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go into your extended reading, Cancer, and we're gonna pull some more cards about this new person. Like any advice that Spirit wants you to have about them. Uh, I'm not going to pull characteristics for your past person because presumably you know who they are. Um, but we'll pull some characteristics for your new beau uh, and anything Spirit wants you to know about them. And also I feel like your career got lost in here. <laughs> so we will pull some cards for your career and see what's going on with that. So if you want to watch the extended reading, it is for channel members only. All of the information for that is below. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it very much. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.